Hey, I'm Joe from East Point Sports, and today we're going to build the six-player croquet set with Caddy. <laughs> So the first thing, we're going to take our leg assembly A with our, our leg base. And if you check, each leg assembly will have a letter inside there that matches up to the corresponding hole in the leg base. So we're going to have leg assembly A, which matches up with leg base A right here. One side has circular countersunk holes. The other side has hexagon countersunk holes. We want to make sure the sides of the hexagon faces the wheel. OK, so now we're ready to attach leg B. That goes on the opposite side of leg base A, just like so. Now we're ready to secure our wheels with the number 60 bolt. On the bottom of your base, and place the 60 bolt right into the middle. So you can go ahead and start with hand tightening the bolt. Then we'll use a screwdriver to secure it tightly. I'm doing the opposite side now. All right, so there's our base assembly complete. All right, so next step, we're gonna go ahead and insert the poles into our leg base. So when you're inserting these poles, you wanna make sure that the, the small hole is on the bottom of the pole. You wanna make sure the holes in the pole are lined up with the countersunk holes in the, in the wheel base. Now we're gonna go ahead and attach our number 60 bolts with the nuts to the leg base. So you wanna start with putting your nut into the hexagon hole and make sure that it's flush in there. Once you do that, you can go ahead and insert your number 60 bolt on the other opposite side. Make sure you hold the bolt in place on the other side. And go ahead and tighten it securely. Let's go ahead and repeat for the one above it. Then we can repeat for the pole on the other side of the base assembly. All right, and there we have the frame of our caddy. All right, so our next step, we're gonna wiggle the short spacer onto the pole. Once you've done that, Go ahead and take your mallet head holder and slide it over the pole. You want to make sure the side with the logo is facing out. Now we're going to have to repeat for the other side. Okay, now we're ready to attach our cross supports to the mallet holders. Now you see here in the mallet holder, there's these two notched out holes on both sides. We want to place our cross supports in there. Next, we're going to put the number 62 screw into the hole that lines up with the cross support. So now we can hand tighten it at first, and we can go ahead and finish it with the screwdriver. Just making sure that our cross support is lined up with the hole on the other side, we're going to go ahead and repeat the other side. All right, so now we'll repeat all of this for the other side of our caddy base. Okay, so the next step is to take the stake holders and attach them to their base. Now you want to make sure that the clips in the bottom of the stake holders are facing down. And the larger hole is facing the wheels. Now we're going to repeat for the other side. All right, now we'll secure these in with the number 62 screw on the opposite side of the wheels. Notice here is a little hole for the screw to feed in. All right, now we're going to go ahead and pop the screw on the other side as well. Now you're going to take your fabric belt with the two loops on both ends and slide them over each pole. Then we'll slide it all the way down. Now we're going to assemble our mallet handle holder and support bar. We want to make sure that the wicket holder is on the same side as the stake holder. Go ahead and attach the two clips to the center of the pole. Make sure you hear it click into place and this should be nice and flush. Now we're ready to attach this to our base assembly. We want to make sure that the C-clips are on the same side as the stake holders. Alright, so now we can go ahead and attach it to both poles. You want to slide it down to the poles halfway down the pole. Now we can secure them with the number 64 bolt and nut. As we did before, make sure that your nut is in the hex hole, nice and flush, and secure with the number 64 bolt. Now we can repeat this for the other side. 
Next, we're gonna go ahead and attach our handle. Just like we did before, we're gonna make sure the countersunk hexagon holes on the side with the wheels. With the number 60 bolt, just like we did with all the other attachments, we're gonna secure with a nut on the one side with the hexagon hole, with the bolt through the countersunk circular hole. Now that's our caddy assembled, we can go ahead and assemble the mallets. You're gonna take your mallet handle, your mallet head, go ahead and screw them together. And it's as simple as that. Now to store your mallets, go ahead and take one of your mallets, lay the head into the groove. Then you can repeat to store the rest of your mallets. Okay, now that, that is done, we can go ahead and store our stakes, the two stake holders. And we're going to store our wickets into the wicket holder. Now we can go ahead and secure them in place with the strap. Alright, so let's pop up the handle and you're ready to go.